Johnson and Amp, Johnson's one-shot coronavirus vaccine may actually be two doses, the Biden administration said. The vaccine, which was recently submitted to the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, FDA, for approval, was hailed as one of the most effective ways to help increase supply and bring President Joe Biden closer to his goal of 150 million shots in arms in the first 100 days of his term. Jay and Amp Jay is currently on track to produce 100 million doses of its single-shot vaccine, but is trying to find a way to update the immunization in the face of variants. However, during a Washington Post live event, Andy Slavitt, the White House senior advisor on COVID-19 response, say the company is currently testing the effectiveness of its shot with a booster. Johnson and Amp Johnson is currently evaluating how their vaccine performs with two doses in other words with their own booster, he told host Jonathan Capehart, a columnist for the newspaper's op-ed section. Pending the results of that, pending what the FDA has to say, if the vaccine's approved in the first place, there may be a second shot of Johnson and Amp, Johnson. The news raises concerns that the U.S. may not be able to immunize enough of the population before the more contagious variants from the U.K. and South Africa become dominant in the U.S. J and Amp, J's vaccine was found to be 66% rate of preventing infections in its large global trial, but just 57% effective when tested in South Africa. It's unclear if this will delay FDA approval of the inoculation for emergency use authorization. If regulators approve the vaccine, it would be the third shot made available to the American public after vaccines from Pfizer Inc. BioNTech SE and Moderna Inc. were approved in December. Unlike the two currently authorized vaccines from Pfizer and Moderna, J and AMP, J's does not need to be shipped frozen. It also does not use new mRNA technology but rather combines genetic material from the new virus with the genes of the adenovirus which causes the common cold to induce an immune response. It is the same technology the company used to make an experimental Ebola vaccine for people in the Democratic Republic of Congo in late 2019. After the J and AMP, J's application, regulators will need time to analyze the data, and an advisory committee will need to meet. Last month, Dr. Paul Stoffels, J and AMP, J's chief scientific office, said J and AMP, J was on track to roll out the vaccine in March. It remains unclear if this recent revelation by Slavit will affect the rollout. The U.S. has an agreement to buy 100 million doses of J and AMP, J's vaccine for $1 billion, and the option of purchasing an additional 200 million doses. On Thursday, Dr. Fauci confirmed that J and AMP. Jay is still on target for this goal of its single dose and confirmed that the company is making a two-shot dose. This price is the vaccine at around $10 per dose, but the New Jersey drugmaker has pledged not to price its inoculations for profit. By comparison, the U.S. is paying $19.50 per dose for the Pfizer immunization and $32 to $37 per dose of Moderna's jab.